Good evening, Crochet Club. I am ready to start our Teddy Bear Cal. And we are going... Actually, you are on row 40. I have come back to row 40. Uh, most of... Everybody has already gone on, from what I can understand. Um, there was a few people with some criticisms for me that I should better show my work. Um, so I've decided to come back and better this video for the next group that's coming through. Uh, it's the decreasing that people are having a little issue with and I wasn't always on completely on screen so I'm going to agree with that and I am trying to do things better so I want to do everything better so okay on our last video we are on row 40 and we ended with that brown block, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a count just so that we can make sure we're all on the right block. So, row 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven whites. One, two, three browns. One tan. One, two, three, four, five browns. One, two blacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven browns. One, two, three tans. And then there's the one brown block that we were on. Now we are going to do six white blocks. So we're going to tuck the brown back and we're going to go in between the third and fourth row. We're going to pull through that yarn, through the block, through the loop, chaining up three and then double crocheting in between that third and fourth row three times and connect by going in and slip stitching and chaining up three and double crocheting one two and three again slip stitch chain up three and double crochet one two and three again slip stitch chain up three and double crochet one two and three slip stitch, chaining up three, and double crocheting three times, one, two, and three, one, two, three, four, five, that's five white blocks, then we're going to slip stitch, and chain three, That's one, two, and three. I don't know if I was off the screen there. I had it, my, arm, my arm's kind of high. So that defeated the purpose of really showing you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, so there's our six white blocks. And we are going to add a green. So let's grab our green and get one started. You will probably have yours there. I detached all my yarn so that I could watch a movie while I weaved in my ends. So we're going to bring that green through the block and through the loop. We're going to go around both. Short string forward. And chaining up two more. If you already have yours on there, you're just building it one green block. We're going to double crochet. One, two, three times over top of that short string and in between that third and fourth. That's where we're going to do our block. Go back and tighten up your white string. And now we are going to add another white. We need four white blocks to take us to the end. So I'm going to go in, grab my string, 
bring it through the black, bring it through the loop, go around both, and chain up two, and over this short string and in this black between the third and fourth row, we are going to double crochet three times. Less talking, more showing of the actual stitches. And that's what I am going to do. Get a little lost in my talking. Here we go. So we have another white black. Connect by a slip stitch, chain three, and in between the third and fourth, you're going to double crochet three times. And one more. The very last green black, you're going to go between the third and fourth, slip stitch, and chain three and double crochet one two and three there you go that completes our row 40 so I'd like you to cross off row 40 and then turn your work and we are done increasing no more increases so I'm going to go ahead and give my yarns a little yank here so that I have some string. Do not want those tangles. Also get that hands out of the way here for you by doing that. Okay. So now we have just completed row 40 and we've just turned our work. Normally for an increased row we would chain up six. And we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, this is where I'm apparently am not showing you good enough, you know, in the, in the past. Okay. So I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that fourth post. One right under my loop. I'm going to slip stitch right into that. I'm going to slip stitch into the third. Slip stitch into that second and right there into that top of the chain three we're going to slip stitch into that we're going to turn our work we're going to chain up three and then right there in between the third and fourth stitch uh, third and fourth row we're going to go in and double crochet do three double crochets into that area between the third and fourth row so there you go, we have built a white black. We're going to slip stitch into the previous black. And this is where I want to show you, we have created an edge. We have come up and this is now going to be an edge. We're going to hold that edge throughout. And that is how we're going to decrease. Um, with no increases, we're going to start going back this way. Okay, so now we're going to chain three and double crochet three times into that black right there, right in between the third and fourth row. We need 11 white blacks. So connecting, chaining up three, whoops, one, two, three, and then again double crocheting in between the third and fourth block. Less of my talk and let's crochet so that we don't have any errors. Now one thing, if a few people have gone ahead and they have found errors um, in their own work and some are using mine. Let's cut this green string right here. We're not going to use the green that we're coming up to. So let's cut that and get that out of the way so that we have less strings in play here. I had a lot of green string out there. Okay. That's out of the way. 
Now all we're going to do is crochet in uh, white blocks. So what I was saying, at the beginning of this kale, I showed you how to write your own instructions for this teddy bear. Some people did that. Some people are using my instructions. If you're following along with me, we are probably going to find an error here and there. Um, and I will fix those errors as we go. It's possible I might not find one in time and we might have to pass one up. But let me tell you that if you go on ahead, just be mindful of that. Watch for um, things that don't look right if your counts aren't adding up. Then grab your teddy bear graph uh, and do your counts. Figure out which row you're on and actually recount that row uh, to check yourself. So just a little tip there if you go on further ahead than we are. Okay, let's keep connecting white blocks and chaining up three and then double crochet. And that is annoying. I've seen that in the video. When my string gets tight and I just keep pulling a little bit. I don't like that. I noticed that in the video. That's horrible. So I'm going to pull out enough to get through there. Okay, here we go. So we are double crocheting two more times into that block. Slip stitch, connect, chaining three, double crochet, three times. We're building white blocks, we need 11. So let's continue on, connecting, chaining three, and double crochet. Chaining three and double crochet. Let's get a count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need two more. Connect. Chain three. And double crochet. Three times. One more. Double or slip stitch. Chain three. And right in between there, we're going to double crochet. Three times. One. Two and three. There we go. Eleven blocks. Now we need four brown blocks. Four of them. So we have a brown here. Let's grab up our brown. Give it a nice tug, make it tight. And go between the third and fourth. Grab up that brown. Bring it through the block in the loop. Chaining up three. And double crocheting. One, two, and three. And tug. Your white one a tug. And then keep on going. We need four of these. Slip stitch, chain three, double crochet. Three times. Between that third and fourth. There's two browns. Slip stitch. Oh, chain three. And double crochet. Three times. I'm working on them on a machilla bag. And the hook is so small. It's a 2.75. It's just hard to go from that hook to this hook. <laughs> I'll get used to it again, but it's hard. Okay, so last one. Double crochet three times. Oops. There we go. Okay, so there's our four. And we need one white. 
I'm sorry, my brown got spun around on me. Okay, so grab yourself a white. Let's get that ready. And we need one white, so put our white in there. Go around both. Short string forward. And chain up two more. And then double crochet over the short string between that third and fourth. One, two, and three. And there's our one white. And we need 16 brown. So let's get that out of the way. Put the white back there. We need a brown. We need to attach a brown. Let's see if I can find which one is not attached. There we go. So get your brown ready. Tuck your white back behind your finger. Go in between third and fourth, grab up that brown, bring it back through the block, through the loop, around both strings. Uh, bring your short string forward, chain up two, and make sure you give that white a tug. I want you to double crochet right over top of your short string and in between your third and fourth row. There we go, there's one. And we need 16, so let's connect. Trip, uh, chain three and double crochet three times. I'm going to pull out a lot of string. You should too. We have 16 blocks to build. So let's get those. Give ourselves enough string so that we don't have tangles. There we go. Chain or double crocheting two more. And connect with a slip stitch. Chain three and double crochet. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the next. Double crochet. One, two. Sorry if my arms are rising up. <laughs> three. Just keep building those brown blocks. It's the same routine. Slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet three times. Take your time. And get right across. There we go. I will put a post of the library up today if any of you are trying to think of what your next project will be you can, you're can. you welcome to come and look and uh, start picking some graphs out because I can guarantee when you're done doing this you're going to be ex very excited and be ready to move on to the next project Christmas is around the corner so you will have um, you can surprise a lot of your family with these. It's uh, pretty nifty. Very creative. Let's keep going here. We need to keep chaining up three and double crocheting three times as we move across. Building up these brown blacks. I'm going to do a quick count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's keep going. There's 10. And 
There's ten, so we need six more. I'm going to pull out some more brown yarn. There we go. Continue connecting for the slip stitch, chaining up three, and double crochet in between that third and fourth. Chaining up three, and double crochet, one, two, and three. I'm just going to do less talking if you've been following me through all the videos. Um, I tend to wander off. And maybe that's what my problem is. So let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We need three more. Let's keep going. Slip stitch. Chaining up three. And double crochet. There we go. I have a lot of ideas for the future crochets, uh, cales I should say, um, that will better these videos. I guess you have to learn, you have to start somewhere. I've learned a lot from these videos, a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One more. There we go. Chaining up three. Double crochet. One, two, and three. Now, we need seven white, so let's find us a white. There we go. Let's find that white and start that bobbin. Go in to that block, grab up that yarn, bring it through the block and the loop around both strings, short string forward, chaining up two more, double crochet between that third and fourth string, row, third and fourth row, there we go, right over top of that short string, there we go. That's our first white. Let's go back and give that brown a tug. And here we go. We need to do seven whites. I'm going to go ahead and get my white completely out of here because it looks like we have some tangles. It figures I'm on my last row. Last little bit here. I'm going to stop at video... What would we be on? 39? I'm going to stop with that tonight. So let's just continue on. With double crochets. There we go. As we get closer to, um, we get some of these, we have a lot of color changing rows. Once we get through these color changing rows, um, and start decreasing, I'll be able to do a few more videos um, in our 30 minutes instead of just the two, but I'm just going to stick with this now. Um, I've been doing it for this long, and I want to make sure that everybody follows along that needs to and uh, doesn't have any errors. And hopefully you can pick up on the decrease a little better if I'm showing showing things a little better. So, again, we're slip stitching, we're chaining three, and we're double crocheting in between the third and fourth, right there. Hoping to get to this edge before I have a really big tangle so that I can show you how to decrease again one more time in this video. doesn't look like that's going to happen for me. 
I don't have time for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the string and grab I'm going to grab another white I think. This is a mess. I don't know how I started this, but <laughs> I'm done with that. Okay. So I'm going to start my white. Sorry about that. I should have messed with my strings a little more in the beginning. Okay, so slip stitch. It's funny because I never have as many issues with strings, but maybe that's just because you're doing it yourself and you're not rushing. I'm not nervous. <laughs> okay, so I've started my string again. We're doing a double crochet. Just keep on making your blocks just like you normally would. Don't mind what I'm doing over here. Slip stitch, chain three. Okay, so this is my last block. We needed seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh block. Go ahead and finish it. Now, you can tell that you're on your last block because you need to be even with that previous block the end. We do not want, as you can see, if I were to, you know, build up another block here, I would have connected it and build up another block. I'm going to have a block way up here. I don't want that. We want to be even now. We are not increasing. So make sure your counts are right. Um, and then what you're going to do once it's connected, you're going to slip stitch in between the third and fourth slip stitch. You're going to turn your work. Okay, so we've turned our work.